everyone, this is Wolfie Chew. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly remind you all that I finally have my own merch. I'm very excited about this. If you'd like to check out the new store and pre-order your own Wolfie Chew shirt or pop socket, it would really mean a lot to me. Now on to the video. I think it's safe to say that everybody in their life at some point has told at least one lie. Maybe you told your teacher that your hamster ate your homework when you actually just forgot to do it. Or you pretended to be sick so that you wouldn't have to go to school that day. When I was little, I was always told that lying is bad and that you should never lie to anyone. I was always a bit of a goody two-shoes when I was younger and I did not like getting in trouble for any reason. Although lying isn't typically something I would do, honestly, whenever I've lied to someone about something, it's always just made me feel like a horrible human being. But there are a few bad lies that I remember telling when I was younger that, even today, I have no idea what made me say those things. When I was little, back before my family owned any pets, I really, really wanted a pet dog more than anything in the world. When I was a kid, pretty much every toy I owned was a dog, and I would watch any cartoon or movie as long as there was a dog in it. I wanted my own puppy so badly, somehow I believed that surely eventually my mom would end up getting us one. I remember when I was trying to convince her to get a dog, I would tell her things like how she wouldn't even have to buy a food bowl because she could use my spare Barbie cereal bowl instead. Anyway, since I was so sure that I would end up getting a dog, I told everyone at school that I had a new puppy. Even now, I do not know what made me lie about that, but I made up stories about my dog. Her name was Angel, and she was a golden retriever that I would take for walks every day, that loved to play fetch, and every night she would sleep on my bed with me. One day, when I was walking to school, I even decided to tell everyone that my dog had just had puppies, and I got really excited about telling this story too. I kept this up for a few months until one day, my mom decided to organize for a bunch of people from my class to come over to my house for a little party. I was super excited at first, but then I realized, these were all people who were coming to my house and expecting to meet my imaginary dog I talked so much about. I was really scared about having them all find out that I was lying about having a pet, so I had to think of a good reason why there was no dog in my house. So I tried to come up with the most clever excuse I could think of, and I told everyone the morning before they came to my house. I told them that my dog had been sniffing the ground and an ant went up her nose and my dog died. Thinking back on it, this is the dumbest thing I could have done. But I don't think any of my classmates questioned it. I guess just because of how young we were. You would think that I would have learnt my lesson, but this actually wasn't the last dog-related lie I told my friends. A couple of years later, one of my best friends from school told me that her dog had just had puppies and her mom was looking for homes for them all. This was super exciting news and I saw this as a perfect opportunity for me. So I said to my friend, You know... My mom has been thinking about getting a dog. This was, of course, a lie. We had already owned cats for a few years by this point, and my mom did not want to get any more pets. But I still just really, really wanted a dog. I went over to my friend's house and saw all of the puppies, and I fell in love with this one adorable little black and white puppy that fell asleep on my lap. My friend's mom told me that this puppy was very shy and usually wouldn't let any strangers pet her. So I felt like this was a very big deal, that this puppy chose me. I was convinced that the moment my mom would see this dog, she would feel the same way about her as me. So I told my friend's mom that my mom would like to adopt a puppy. <laughs> You can probably already guess though, when I got home and told my mom about the puppy, she told me that no, we would not be able to have a dog. I felt my dreams get crushed right there. I thought that maybe she would change her mind once she actually saw the puppy, so I decided I would keep this a secret from my friend right up until the day where I would take the dog home. But then, on the next school morning, while all of the parents were waiting with us outside the school for the bell to ring, my friend came running up to my mom and she asked her all excitedly, You're gonna keep one of my puppies? I stood there feeling like, Oh no, I'm in trouble. My friend was very confused when my mom told her that we weren't taking the dog. I told her later that my mom had just changed her mind about it and I felt really bad because they actually turned down some other people who wanted to get that puppy because they were holding her for me. My mom never said anything to me but I'm pretty sure she knew what I did. 
I never got a formal punishment for doing this, but maybe the punishment was that I never did end up getting a dog, which is the worst punishment of all. Anyway, the moral of the story is don't deprive me of a dog.